The other concept which we will be studying is the supply of money. See, supply of money is a stock concept. It refers to the total stock of money held by the people of the country at a point of time. See, the, the money which is flowing in your economy is the supply of money. So, it refers to total stock of money held by the people of a country at a point of time. See now what is happening? What is supply of money? The amount of money which people have with themselves at a particular point of time then it is the supply of money. See supply of money does not include it does not include number one the stock of money held by the government The money which is with the government is not in the supply of money. Supply means what is supply which is available for the people. So the money held by the people of the country at the point of time is your supply of money. Stock of money held by the banking system of a country. The government and the banking system of the country are the suppliers of the money or are the producers of the money. Have money held by them is not a part of stock of money held by the people. Supply of money includes only that stock of money which is held by people other than the suppliers of money themselves. In other words, the supply of money refers to the stock of money held by the public or those who demand money. So, with this we come to know that the stock supply of money, let's say you are a human being, you have rupees thousand with you. Cash. So this is your supply. Now, you go to the bank, you deposit 500 in the bank, you have 500 with you. So the amount of money deposited with the bank is a fixed deposit, not the term deposit. That you cannot withdraw from the bank. This now has become a fixed deposit. So this is not the supply. Whereas the amount left with you is the supply of money. So the money which people have with them in the country at a point of time through which we, they can buy goods or services or, do the, or the money with the medium of exchange. In that way, it is called the supply of money. Now, we have the producers of money or the suppliers of money. This is one of the same thing which is being considered in the economics that the producers of money or the suppliers of money are same. So the producers of money or the suppliers of money are the government of the country and 
and the second is the banking system of the country including both the central and the commercial bank. These are the people who supply money in the market. So banking system of a country including both the central bank and the commercial bank. Your central bank is RBI and your commercial banks are your various banks like Bank of Baroda, ICICI Bank, Axis Bank, HDFC Bank, Oriental Bank of Commerce, Punjab National Bank, State Bank of India. These are your commercial banks. And there is one only Apex Bank or the head bank, which is your central bank, that is the RBI Reserve Bank of India. So with this this in this video we have completed your supply of money. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.